Hi folks, Yolo here. How are you? Uh, today, the sun is shining bright, but this morning it was raining. And I'm just going to show you the outside. If you can hear the uh, sound of the cars, it's because our house is near the main road. So there you go folks, that's uh, our neighbor's uh, paddock where they would have their horses and their donkeys. So it's really nice when it's bright and there's sunshine. So today folks, uh, we'll continue talking about the cruise ship uh, career. So please hang in there. So folks, ipagpatuloy na natin ang ating kwentuhan tungkol sa cruise ship career. Today, I'll give you a background of how did I start my career on the cruise ship. And hopefully po, this will inspire you if this is the career that you wanted to pursue. So guys, my educational background is not related to tourism or hotel and restaurant management for that matter. Uh, I came from a remote barangay from one of the provinces in the Visayas. And my first language is not Tagalog. So, sinasabi ko po ito kasi para sa, is sa isang probinsya ng kagaya ko, mahirap mag-apply uh, na ganitong job kung hindi ka po pupunta sa city. So, personally, I went to Manila and my only motivation is that I wanted to travel, see places, and experience life, and get paid at the same time. So, nagtanong-tanong ako kung anong job ang pwede kong pag-applyan na magagawa ko mag-travel, magkaroon ng pera, at uh, makatulong sa magulang or sa mga relatives. So, one of my sister's friend, sabi niya sa akin, bakit hindi ka mag-apply sa cruise ship? So, sabi ko, I don't have a work experience related sa cruise ship job and my education is not related sa pagtatrabaho sa cruise ship as well. So, sabi niya sa akin, bakit hindi ka kumuha ng training at uh, magtrabaho after ng training doon sa skill na training mo na related sa cruise ship job. So, paano ko gagawin yun? Eh, bago lang ako sa Maynila, mahirap para sa isang kagaya kong provinsyana na hindi masyadong sanay sa pagtatravel sa Maynila. At, uh, ang pagtatagalog ko pa is nalilearn ko lang siya from school. At uh, hindi naman sa dinidegrade ko tayo mga probinsya na ano kasi marami tali, ta talagang nasa Maynila na tumira na galing sa probinsya. Ang sa akin lang, yung first time na pumunta ka ng city is mahira para sa isang probinsya na or probinsya na no, kagaya ko na pumunta sa isang lugar or makipag uh, usap ng Tagalog na hindi mo naman siya first language. So, ang ginawa ko, nag-research ako sa internet ng training center na pwede akong mag-aral ng skill and get certified na related doon sa cruise ship job. So, I found, found this uh, training center in Ermita, Manila and they're giving 10 days training and help you to get one month uh, on-the-job training doon sa skill na inaaral mo. So, I did that, and luckily, doon sa pinag ujt kong hotel, na-absorbed nila ako at uh, pinagpatuloy ko yung trabaho na ginagawa ko. So, while working, I was juggling between... Uh, Getting more certificates kasi po, hindi lang naman job experience yung ating ilalagay doon sa ating CV para ma-hire tayo. Meron ding mga certificates na kailangan kuhanin like yung NBI clearance mo or yung, uh, what's this, police clearance and things like that. So, I was juggling between that and doing my job and sending my CVs 
to agencies and companies na nag hire po para sa cruise ship. And six months through that uh, ordeal, may tumawag po sa akin na ang sabi, meron silang principal na darating at may interview. So, I had a doubt in myself. Sabi ko, kaya ko kaya? Eh, six months lang yung experience ko. And I don't have a backer or recommendation. Kasi alam naman po natin, priority at mas madaling na hire ang mga aplikante na merong backer and recommendation. So, despite my doubts, I went for the interview. And to make this story short, na-convince ko naman yung uh, employer na worth it a try na i-hire nila ako and na-hire po ako. So, folks, ito pala yung aking mga picture nung nasa cruise ship ako. Ano? So, why am I telling you my background or my history before uh, being hired in the cruise ship. Kasi po, three things lang. Yun talaga yung pinanghawakan ko, kaya ko pinurso yung career sa cruise ship. Number one is perseverance. Bakit perseverance? Kasi, hindi po madali ang mag-apply. Sinasabi ko na sa inyo to, uh, now, not to discourage you, but to make you face the reality. So, perseverance Kasi kung wala ka nun, baka bigla ka nalang tamarin at mapagod at mag-give up. So, tayo po, sige lang ng sige. Apply ng apply hanggang sa matanggap tayo kung yun talaga yung gusto nating trabaho. And then, commitment. Kasi, kapag ka dumating yung time na nag-apply ka, at hindi ka pa na-hire within the time frame na gusto mong ma-hire, eh, minsan tayo nagigive up na lang o wag na lang yan, hayaan na lang natin yan. Pero you know what? If you're committed to one thing, you will do whatever it takes and get yourself motivated to go on and try one more time until ma-achieve mo yung goal mo. The next thing is hard work. And hard work kasi... Nakikita natin sa mga abroad, yung mga OFW at saka yung mga nagtatrabaho sa cruise ship na pag uwi nila sa Pilipinas ay eh, maraming pera, branded yung gamit, ganun. But then, guys, the reality is it's hard work. Uh, yung environment mo sa cruise ship is lim limited lang siya kasi... Oo nga, pwede kang lumabas, pwede kang mamasyal, pwede kang mag-shopping, pero may time frame na nasa labas ka kasi nagtatrabaho ka naman po. And then, ang cruise ship, madalas niyan, one day lang sila nag-stay sa port. And hard work kasi minsan, yung shift is mahaba talaga siya. Sometimes you will work from 8 to 5 or 8 to 8 and meron lang siyang break time ng meal and or bibigyan ka ng supervisor mo ng breaks para makapag coffee or makapag merienda or uminom ng tubig so guys hindi ko sinasabi lahat sa inyo to para uh, ma-discourage kayo sinasabi ko sa inyo to to check yourself if this is what you wanted and if this is what you wanted then go for it nothing can stop you if you have a goal reach for it that's why sabi ko nga yulo you only live once so embrace the journey go lang ng go so folks i hope na this blog helps you and gives you um valuable information at sana po I you stay tuned and you hang around at uh, magkita kita 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 po tayo ulit sa aking blog next time so ciao for now